What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Montana State Dynasty on NCAA Football 06. Looking at some in-season recruiting, we are no longer on this middle linebackers list, so we're going to be splitting all of our points 50-50 between this defensive tackle, Nick Brown, the only in-state recruit, and then this free safety, Trey Noble, where you are on top of both of their lists. Today we're taking on the Weber State Wildcats. Their starting quarterback, Mr. Walker, is out for the season, so Nate Hawk is going to be starting for today's game. Their running game is pretty solid here with Mike Andrews just a yard shy of 300 yards, and he also has a rushing touchdown on the season. John Blair is their leading receiver, 252 yards on 26 receptions, two touchdowns there. Fowler and Lamb are also pretty solid receivers for them. Not really great stats for their offensive line, at least in terms of sacks allowed. Although their uh, defense has been getting a handful of sacks this season there. you got four players with two sacks. They also already have a fair amount of interceptions there. Two players with two INTs. That's going to take us to our game. Now, both teams are winless. Both teams are 0-1. Going into this game, 0-1 in conference play, that is. Uh, we are 0-5, they are 0-4. We had five losses outside, not, not not including our bowl game last season. So I would love to uh, to end this, uh, this losing streak that we're having here and uh, maybe win out, which I think is something that we could very well do in the Big Sky Conference. Here's Deshaun Ralph running this one to the left side. He had a great game last week, racking up 120 rushing yards. Matt Ransom is rolling to his right here. Takes a shot deep there, and he's going to be picked off. Looking for the big play to Jake Munoz, who is in his first game back from a three-game suspension, but instead we turn it over. So here's Nate Hawk throwing back to the left side for Fowler. That's going to pick up a five-yard game. Mike Andrews is going to get the handoff here, and that's going to get them into MSU territory. Hawk is looking to pass, throwing to the right side. Great job by Gerard Anderson breaking that one up. On second down, Hawk is looking to throw. Floats up onto the right side, and Blair makes the reception, and that moves the chains. Hawk looks to throw. Throws right side. It's going to be tipped, and it's going to be intercepted. Jed Torrey, the true freshman cornerback, he's going to take it to the crib for the pick six. Touchdown, Bobcats. There's also an injured Wildcat on that play. Looking to respond from that pick six now. They're going to give the ball to Andrews. Picks up about two yards. On second down, they're going to run the football yet again. But this time we get to him in the backfield with Russell. Third down and ten. Hawk is looking to pass. And he goes down, sacked on the play there by Corey Rivara. Forcing them to go three and out. So here they are punching this one away to Devlin Greco. Returning this one from just about the 40-yard line. Runs to the left. They're working down the left sideline. Gets out to the other 40. First down and 10 for Montana State. Looking at the injured Wildcat there too. He'll be back soon. Ransom running the, to the right side. Running the read option here with Greco. And he picks up a yard. We're going to give the football to Deshaun Ralph. But he's not going anywhere there. So now the Bobcats are faced with a third down and nine. Ransom's going to take off, and he's going to pick up the first down, diving down at about the 24. A high snap for Ransom, looking to pass yet again. Now looking to run yet again, and he's going to pick up another first down, sliding down inside of the 15. First play of the second quarter, we give the football to Ralph, and he loses two yards. Matt Ransom's looking to throw. Fires underneath there to Jake Munoz. That's going to pick up about two or three yards. Five wide on third down. Ransom's looking to pass. Moving to his left. He's going to try to pick it up with his legs, but this time he is unable to do so. So out comes Harry Williams for a 23-yard field goal attempt. His kick is up and good, and we are up by 10. Looking to respond now down 10-0 early on. That reception goes nowhere. Nate Hawk is looking to throw on second down, looking for Andrews, but it falls incomplete. So they're faced with another third down, throwing to the left side, incomplete pass. They go three and out yet again. Our defense is balling out early on. Our offense is kind of struggling. I mean, we are up 10-0, but uh, the only offensive points did come off of that field goal, which, I mean, technically isn't even offensive points, but we did get in field goal range. But now we're faced with a third down and 13. Ransom's going to take off and pick up his third uh, first down uh, uh, conversion on the ground today. 
He's looking to pass yet again, rolling to his left, looking for Jones, who brings this one in out at the 30. First down and 10. We're going to give the football to Ralph. Running to the left side. He's got some good blockers. Gets inside of the red zone. Brought down at the 10. Ransom looking to throw. Moving to his right. Now is he going to take off and run? Yes, he will. And he's going to bring it all the way to the crib. Touchdown, Bobcats. And we've been dominating early on. Up 17 to 0 now. Great job by Matt Ransom here. Running to his right. Using his mobility and scoring the touchdown. Two and a half minutes left to play in the half. Hawk throws underneath there, and he connects with his man that picks up eight yards. They're going to run a toss play on second down to Andrews. Gets some solid blocking, but is brought down, it looks like, just shy of the third down. Or of the first down marker, rather, which leads to third down. And they're going to convert it. Lamb with the reception on the right side before he steps out of bounds at the 45. Hawk is looking to throw, moving around in the pocket, fires deep here, and Adams is going to bring it in, and he's going to bring it all the way. Pat Alford, you got to play the ball, man. Sailed right over his head, and uh, instead, Weber State gets their first points of the game, a 54-yard passing touchdown. Finding themselves down by just 10 again, but they are going to be kicking this one off here to Greco. He's going to return this one here. He gets some solid block in the 40, the 50-yard line, the other 40, the 30. He is gone, taking it to the crib for the kick return touchdown. MSU takes all the momentum back. Hawk is looking to throw here. That pass gets tipped at the line of scrimmage. Second down. Hawk is looking to pass yet again. Throws left side there. And Greco makes this reception. They got a Greco of their own. Luckily, he's not as speedy as ours. And we catch up to him. But not until he gets out to the 20-yard line. First down and 10. Nate Hawk is looking to throw. Fires over the middle there. Great play by Seth Cobb breaking that one up. Just a minute left to go now. Hawk is looking to pass under pressure, and that falls incomplete. A high snap on third down. Hawk is under pressure and goes down. John O'Brien getting his first sack of the ball game. The second time we've gotten to Nate Hawk, and they're going to have to settle for a field goal. This run from 44 yards out. The kick is up, and it is good. Just a 14-point ball game now as we go into the half. Weber State gets the football to start off the second half now. Hawk throwing right side. That pass is tipped. On second down, they're going to fake the run play here. Hawk has time in the pocket. Fires a deep shot. And Fowler's going to bring it in. Man, what are my safeties doing first? Pat uh, doesn't, doesn't play the ball. Now JoJo Henderson isn't playing the ball. A big play there for Weber State. Toss to the right now for Andrews. And he's going to take it untouched to the house. Touchdown Weber State Wildcats. And just like that, it's a 7-point ball game. Wasn't too long ago, we were up 17 to nothing. man. Our offense has got to do something now. Gerard Anderson returning this one from just inside of his end zone. Taking this one to the right side across the 30-yard line. Pushed out of bounds at about the 38. First down and 10. We're going to give football to Deshaun. Ralph, he takes it up the middle. Picks up a nice gain of 4. Ransom throws left side. He's going to be picked off. Silva for his second interception today there. Gets it out to the 40-yard line. Man, Matt Ransom, you just can't throw that pass there. Uh, I, I was kind of hoping that he would be open uh, there looking for Erica Dotson, but uh, Tunnel Vision, I threw it to the guy who I thought would be open in, uh, as, as, as I was reading the defense before the snap, and I should have saw that and went, nope, I shouldn't throw that. That's going to be an interception. Instead, they got the football, and they're looking to tie things up now. First down and 10 after that nice run there. Eric Hawk throws over the middle. It's tipped. And then it's going to be caught by Blair inside of the 5. A lucky break there for Weber State. Now out of the I formation. They give it to Blair. One runs a man over and gets tackled into the end zone for the Wildcat touchdown. And we're all tied up at 24 apiece. Kicking off yet again. We've got some solid returns including one for a touchdown already today. Anderson's going to return this one. Once again, running down the right side on the 30-yard line. The 40-yard line where he's pushed out of bounds. That's another solid return for him. Deshaun Ralph runs to the right side here, but they're able to get to him in the backfield. Loss of one on the play. Ralph is running again, and he only picks up that one lost yard. Ransom's looking to throw under some pressure. Fires deep there, and what a throw and catch. Jake Munoz out to the 30. 
Matt Ransom's really been struggling this season, but he can still make some amazing throws like that. What a play there. Ransom is rolling to his left now. Looks for Munoz again. That pass is going to be tipped and luckily not picked off. Now it's going to be the direct snap to the running back, but he loses two yards. A high snap on third down. Throw into the left there looking for Doolin and Ransom a little bit off the mark there. So on 4th down and 12, we're going to punt this one away. Looks like it's going to land inside of the 5. And then Payne is going to actually bring it down at the 1. So the Bobcats are looking to get a safety now on this play. Andrews with the ball here runs into a crowd. And then he breaks this one out to the right side. The 20 breaks out of Seth Cobb's tackle. Running down the right sideline. Nobody's going to catch him. The 30, the 20, he is gone. High stepping into the end zone for a 99-yard rushing touchdown. And the first Wildcat lead today. First down and 10 for Montana State after giving up that 99-yard touchdown. On second down, we're going to run it for Deshaun Ralph. He's going to run it to the right side. He's going to pick up a first down there. Ralph running to the left now, but they're going to looks like they're going to catch up to him. Indeed, they, they do, but not until he gets out to the 50. Ralph with the football again, but this time they get to him in the backfield. Into the fourth quarter now where the Bobcats find themselves down by seven. Looking for Kevin Jones there, but unable to connect. Ransom's looking to pass on third down. Running to his right now. What's he going to do? Is he going to try to throw? Looking for Deshaun. Ralph It's going to be tipped, and he's going to be picked off for the third time today. Allen with the interception, and Weber State's got this thing going back their way yet again. First down and 10 from the 26. They fake the toss. Throws left side. Fowler makes the reception. And I think he was brought down just shy of the first down marker. Indeed, he was. Andrews is going to get the ball. Now runs this one to the left there a little bit and moves the chains. Toss out of the I formation. Now the running back's looking to throw. Blair makes this reception. And he is gone for another touchdown, man. What has happened to us? Remember when you have a 17-0 lead? I don't really remember that anymore because we find ourselves down by 14 now in the fourth quarter as they pull out some trickery here. Under four minutes left to play, the Bobcats got to score twice now. Ransom is rolling to his left. He's going to take off and run. The only thing he's really been doing a good job of so far today, 64 yards on the ground for him. Looking to throw yet again. Ransom's running to his right. He's going to take off and run yet again down the left sideline. Out of bounds at about the 40. Five wide. Ransom's looking to pass. Moving to his left now. Fires to the left side. Eric Dotson makes that reception. And they're going to call that inbounds. I don't think he got either foot inbounds there. Looking at this replay again. But uh, the play stands. So now into Wildcat territory. Trying to get back into this game. Ransom floats up onto the right side, but it's going to be tipped. Second down, looking to pass yet again. Ransom fires quickly underneath there to the fullback, and he's going to pick up five yards. MSU is faced with a third down. Ransom rolling to his left. He's going to use his legs, and he's going to pick up the first down. He fumbles the football. Thank goodness that goes out of bounds. Ransom looking to throw. Fires to the end zone there looking for Eric Dotson. But that pass is going to be broken up. Just three minutes left to play there. Ransom throws over the middle. He was under a lot of pressure and that pass falls incomplete. Ransom's rolling to his right now. Trying to take off and run. He'll pick up about five yards there. But the Bobcats are going to be faced with a fourth down and four. Looking to go for it now. Ransom goes down, sacked at about the 30-yard line. And Weber State's got the football going back their way yet again with the turnover on downs. Andrews gets the football on that run. He picks up three yards. They're going to give it to Andrews yet again. He gets some good blocking, and he's in open space. Breaks off of the tackle, the 40. The 30-yard line brought down just shy of the red zone. Another good play for him. 170 yards after contact. My gosh. They're going to give it to him again, but this time we get to him in the backfield for a loss of one. Once again, they give it to Andrews, though. He takes it up the gut for another rushing touchdown. This one from 22 yards out. And that's officially going to be the nail in the coffin there. Another great run by Mike Andrews. 
Ransom is looking to throw here as we're trying to, you know, at least get some more points for Pride. Fires that one to the left side, and he is very nearly intercepted. Ransom looking to throw yet again. Fires over the middle to Munoz, who's in open space. The 50, the 40-yard line. Can he outrun the defense? It looks like he will, and indeed he will. Touchdown, Bobcats. 80 yards to Jake Munoz. Fantastic job getting those yards after the catch, but unfortunately it's going to be too little too late for the Bobcats. We are still going to attempt the onside kick, though. We bring out Harry Williams, and they're going to recover it. And uh, they're just going to run the rest of the clock down and come out with their first victory of the season. Man, we really choked a 17-point lead. Not only did we choke a 17-point lead, we ended up getting blown out, man. We're playing like the Texans did back in the, in the playoffs this past season. Uh, at least it wasn't as big of a lead, but still, man, I thought we would definitely get our first victory the, of the season. This this season has not gone as, as planned at all. I had really high hopes for Matt Ransom. And I know he struggled in the first four games, but we were outmatched in all those games. But now second game in, in conference play, and the man has way more interceptions than touchdowns. I think he has double the amount of interceptions than touchdowns. And I I don't really know what to do. I mean, I got to play better, obviously, because I'm the one controlling him. Uh, his backup, Chris Harris, is not going to play any better. Matt Ransom's, I think, a 72 or a 74 overall. Chris Harris is like a 58, so I don't think he's going to play any better. I think I just got to play better and uh, make better reads and, and whatnot. Although uh, our defense did actually play kind of solid today as you uh, look at the stats. There we got a couple sacks and a pick six. Sacramento State beat Montana as we look at some of the other games in the Big Sky Conference. Eastern Washington loses by one point there to Army to give Army their first win of the season. Idaho State, another one-point game here as they beat NAU 24-23. Idaho State looking kind of competitive this season. Idaho beat Portland State 38-17. A good win there as they continue their three-game win streak. That's going to be a wrap for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. This has been Jeffrey reminding you to stay moist.